Hi everybody, I'm Alex Steiner, Beauty Director of Glamour, and you know, it is Ask Alex Live, and I've got today, today I'm so excited to have Michelle Keegan on with us. Now, Michelle knows that I, I mean, everybody in the Glamour office loves you, and this is true, and you guys all know, because I've said it so many times, like literally, you are one of my top three beauty icons. Oh, yes, so so I want to say officially thank in front you. of everyone, I love her more than anybody else. Okay? Oh, so we were you. so obsessed when our girl came up. I mean, that was oh, just thank you. I, that, incredible. That thing, cause it's, a, it's a, obviously a new, new show for me, but it's only been out. So I was really nervous how people were going to take to it. Um, but the reaction was amazing. I was so happy. And I could tell because like you are such a genuine person. This is the thing, you know, you really are. Because I've met you a few times. Mm. And you are, first of all, she looks exactly like she looks in pictures <laughs> in real life. I swear, I'm not making this up. And you guys know I've interviewed everyone in the world. I haven't paid her for this, you know, by the way. She's no, been very nice. You know, but it's true. And apart, you know, <laughs> J-Lo and Michelle, the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my life. Oh my but God. you really are the same. But you are so genuine. And the thing with, because I saw on Twitter, you were... So overwhelmed oh. was the response, weren't you? I had to pinch myself so many times. I was on Twitter for hours just going through, trying to read every tweet. I was, honestly, I was really overwhelmed. I, was, I kept getting really emotional about it. Oh, and it's I so was. nice how you answer people as I well. Know. I just thought it I was just, just no, really it sweet. Is. I just feel so grateful. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't know how things are going to go. And yeah, I'm, I'm just really grateful. And people are nice and yeah. Yeah, it's but that's because you did a damn good job. Thank now, you. can we have a little... So tell me, I do, being a fan of the show, I need yes. to know. Yes. When, because we all know there's a next show coming. Yes, it's been recommissioned. What yeah. can you tell us? What, and well, what can you not tell us and tell us anyway? To be fair, I can't tell you a lot because obviously, um, this, well, the writer is writing it right now. Yeah. Um, but I can say it's going to be 10 eps. Obviously, there was only five this season and that's going to be 10, which is really exciting. So it's going to double. Um, they're going to set it abroad again. We don't know where. Um, and I'm the only one that has been signed. We don't know about the other boys yet, but fingers crossed they'll be coming back as well. Do you have any influence over this? Uh, no. <coughs> no, 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 I haven't, I haven't. But you know, I love to work with all the guys, so hopefully they'll be coming back. I think it depends because it's not going to be filmed till like mid next year. And you know, you know, they might be working, or they might be signing something else now. I just, I just don't know. But we definitely. But I want them back. back. I want them back. We want them all back. Yeah. We want to hear how it all unfolds. Exactly. All unfolds Everything's like left open, go. isn't it? Yeah. I always like cliffhangers, and I think that's why people want to watch the next series. No, because you asked me when you came in, you said, like, mm. did you like the ending? And I yeah. asked because so many people have said, you must be walking down the street and people mm. go, why did you not do And you're like, yeah. excuse me, I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not. They think it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why did it's you like, Why didn't you even know a velvet? like, I don't know, that's the right time. But um, yeah, because it was w very much Team Elvis or Team Jamin. Yeah. And I think a lot of the public swayed it towards Elvis because, you know, we like, we're like a true love story. Romantic. Yeah, and I think at the end, people presumed that, presumed that Georgie and Elvis were up together. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they didn't. But I thought that was so good, actually. I mean, yeah. in the moment, I was kind of like, oh. But yeah, I thought ended, that yeah. was really good because it makes you excited for, Exactly, you know, but it's what's also happening. about, you know, being an independent woman mm -hmm. and the fact that she didn't need the guy at the end mm -hmm. to make her happy. She mm -hmm. made her own choice. She picked the army over mm -hmm. any man mm -hmm. because that's what she wanted to do. And I thought, yeah, go, girl. Do I mean, that's what it's about nowadays. Yeah. It's strong women. No, I definitely love it. And obviously, you're here, you know, in our HQ glam. I mean, can you believe Michelle came to our not so glamorous offices, um, but you know, so glamour nice. is all about that. You know, it yeah. is about women empowering women, and you know, we're just we love the show. We're huge fans, and Thank you. I do. You know, now I do have to move on to the main <laughs> event, <laughs> yeah. which is beauty, because you know we're all you know obsessed with that. And you you work with Revlon, mm -hmm. and I think it's a very um, natural collaboration. Yeah. It seems to me mm -hmm. genuinely because first of all, you're a girl who loves makeup. You exactly. wear makeup, so exactly. that's the other. You know, you are genuinely always have loved. Makeup. Yeah, always, always. Um, when, do you remember when you kind of started to, to like well, makeup? Yeah, I remember when I was really, really young and I was obsessed with my mum when she was getting ready to go out. I was sat on the stool next to her, watching her do her makeup and trying all the products. And then um, when I left college, uh, I worked on a makeup counter in the shop. So I was constantly around makeup every single day for hours and hours. And I was always trying different products. And I was what the one that always went off walking. <laughs> tried all these different products and different, you know, Different, um, different eyeshadows from Mac and Nars. And I was obsessed with the makeup brands. So yeah, I've, I've always had a love for makeup. Yeah. And you wear it really well. I mean, today. Oh, thank you. Okay, I love how I was saying to um, Michelle earlier. I was like, 
I knew because I'd, I'd seen you on the Dodgen Ross show and I knew you'd been away recently yes. you'd been on a break yeah. and I knew she was going to be tanned I mean you were always golden and you have the honey skin mm-hmm. tone anyway mm-hmm. I was pale as a ghost and I was like last night I was like do you know what you know I'm like I need to like do some fake tanning because I need to look to halfway okay and not look like that and um I'm very embarrassed to say, uh, I know I'm a beauty director and it's Ask Alex and I should know everything. I completely messed up uh, on my hand. Thank God it wasn't on my face. Now, when you do, when you do tan, I mean, yeah. I know it's a real tan, but when yes. you do self tan, yeah. what, how, do you have any tricks for me that I would not okay. have done this? Thing. Well, to be fair, that yeah, that has happened to me in the past, especially in between fingers yeah. or that sort of thing. Well, I always exfoliate in a shower before, shave, make sure everything's off. You know, you need to be bald <laughs> everywhere. Yes, yeah, you do. And then um, afterwards, moisturise everywhere, concentrating on like the hands and the knees, the elbows, always. And I work my way up, so I start with feet, go da, 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 da. yes, yeah. so that you don't exactly yeah. crease. And then I finish on the face. As soon as I finish, I I, I wear mists. Was that a mist? It was, it wasn't it? No. That's what I mean. It when wasn't. See, miss, all you need to do is do that and it's done. You'd have to rub it in and then I stand there naked for about five minutes freezing. freezing. <laughs> but you know, I wait for it to cool that. down. Yeah. But if you wear, I don't really wear creams or mousses because that's when you do get the patches. But in the past, I have. And I always put my hands like that in a tap, like pretend you're saying a prayer, go under the tap and then get a bit of soap and do that. And let the let the water go in between that cup, that bit there. Oh my god, you yeah. want to come and join the Glamour Beauty team? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's a special, because you know, you have like the best tips. So I want to talk about a little bit about, not just a little bit, a little bit a lot yeah. about your collection mm-hmm. that you've got with Revlon at, at the moment. So yeah. talk oh, about, oh my god, these lip colours, are you wearing oh, one of them today? I'm wearing uh, the matte oh. lip colour, I'll come back to that later. Love really that. Good. Um, so, so tell yes, me about this collection. these are lips and tips. So these are sort of matching your lips with your tips, like obviously lips, tips. Um, <laughs> so obviously, yeah, we've got them in all different shades. We've got the the nude shade. We've got the berry shade, which obviously is nice now. And we've got the glamorous, like the dark pink and the red. So do you like to together. do you like to match? Is this something, um, or does it depend on? I think it depends on the mood. Yeah, like you can mix and match all these. You don't actually have to, you know, properly match. But I think it's quite nice sometimes when you go on a night out and you do match. Mm. Um, especially now in winter, like those two colours are amazing together. Gorgeous. The, yeah, the I think you've done such. I mean, I really think you've done such a beautiful job on these. Also, I think it's a nice idea right now. These balms, even the yes. matte ones, feels nice on the lips because yeah, I get is. a bit dry on my lips yeah, at the moment. Dry, and yeah. these feel really nice and not yeah. too much. And they've got like a little like a menthol tinge to them. Yeah. You know, when it goes in the mouth. It feels really zingy. It's quite cute. That's my favourite because I wear that over anything, and because it's got a balm finish, it feels like you're really nourishing your lips. Oh, and it's called Demure. A bit like me. Very right. I was gonna say. <laughs> and Revlon Color Burst in Demure yeah. is your fave, yes, which is my fave. sealed. So we're gonna open this because I want to show people. Yeah. I, I want to show everyone what it. Oh, we've got one there. You guys, you know, we're just in the office. We're just relaxed <laughs> and chilled, and I hope Michelle doesn't think we're totally unprofessional. But this is the. This is such a beautiful it's kind of really peachy, like how sheer, moisturising it is. Oh, put it on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it on as well. That is gorgeous. That's beautiful. But can you taste? Can you can you taste the uh, yes the menthol? Do you do your own makeup when, I mean, I know for events and for, you know, you yeah. like, obviously have makeup artists, yeah, but yeah. do you often do, like, your own makeup when you just, oh, yeah. when you just go out, I don't know, for a meal with Yeah, it? all the time. To be fair, the only time I do have uh, someone to do makeup is normally shoots or, like, big events. Um, luckily, I've got one today. My friend, Lisa, she's my Who's major. Yeah, she's major. Um, and I do it for, like, um, for, obviously, red carpet looks and things like that. But sometimes I quite like doing my own makeup. What, what do you do? When you do your own, what do you, what's um, you focus on? Well, obviously you have to have a good base, so I always put you know, a really good moisturiser on. And I've got a really good tip that before you do any makeup, you put lip balm on first. So by, I finish my lips off, that's the last thing I do. So by the time I get to my lips, it's all moisturised. That's normally what I do anyway. Um, a good primer is always essential mm-hmm. to get a good, you know, even uh, skin. And yeah, I obviously contour. Under the I eyes. love a contour. Yeah. I never get bored of contouring, um, and yeah, but it I, looks natural. You yeah, can, it's very nat. Like I don't think you do because I think there was a, for a while there was a fashion that it was about this overly contoured thing, yeah. which I still do. Just that's because I have a really round face. Okay, <laughs> um, but yours, you very natural. You're mm. more like a sculpting, like a yeah, casual type kind of. Yeah, approach. especially in the day as well. I tend not to wear a lot of like um, base. 
Um, Tinted moisturiser is always a favourite of mine. Obviously, SPF is good for you. Uh, and I don't do a lot with my eyes. That's the thing I don't really do a lot with. I always put a little bit of mascara and a little a bit of an eyeliner. I never really go too, you know, hard with the eyes. But you always look amazing, like in pack picked. Like I'm always like, you know, it's like we. I mean, I make an effort. I can look good, you know. But you look. So good when you just go to the gym. No, I like, don't. Do you know where, yes, you do. Yeah. No, you oh, do. Oh. Do you put anything on when you go to the gym, or you just um, totally natural? I wear tinted moisturizer. Yeah, I do do that. Yeah, um, but apart from that, no, because normally I I'm one of those people that touches my face a lot. If I'm sweating, and yeah. I'd look like a panda, so I just tend to wear like a bit of tinted moisturizer, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the lens is far it's away. It's natural. It's not a close up, so. Luckily for me. Do you know when they're, I always wonder, do you know, can you tell when you're being packed? Not all the Something. time, and that's a horrible thing. You feel like you've got, you know, you feel like it's really intrusive or mm. violated in a way, because like two days later, you're in, I don't know, online, whatever, walking out the gym, you think, I actually didn't know they were there. Yeah. I could have been doing anything, do you know what I mean? Not in that yeah. way. I could pick my nose. You could pick I was just going to say you could have been picking yeah, your nose. Yeah, I've got my on my bum. You don't know. But, um, yeah, so sometimes you do see them in the corner of the light of your eye, but yeah. a lot of time you don't. So I do want to talk to you about the gym. Okay. Not, not that I'm hoping that, you know, if I do do your regime, I can look like you, because okay. I'm realistic. Mm. <laughs> do you, I'm realistic of my own you know, abilities, do you like going to the gym, or do you do, because you have to do I hate it. the gym. I <laughs> hate the gym. You know those people that go, oh, I love the gym. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. I put it off, and put it off, and put it off, until eventually I go, I've got to do it, I've got to go and do it. And don't get me wrong, I feel great afterwards. Yeah, That's, you know, yeah I know. Great. We all do feel yeah. great afterwards. But I just hate the gym. I hate the gym. But how often do you say you... you I mean, obviously, when you're filming, it's very difficult. Yeah. But, like, yeah. when you're in between... How, in like, between. Because, obviously, you know, your husband, he is a gym person. Yeah, he, he goes is. to the gym. He, he's one of them. He doesn't he don't mind going to the gym. Yeah. He'll get up and go. So will he be like, yo, come on, Yeah. Then. To be fair, that's what makes me go, because I think he's getting ready, and I'm like, oh, I'm sat here, I'm a cup of tea, and I think, Sake, I better go. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. why we go together a lot of times. But um, I, I tend to go three times a week. Um, good though. I don't really do cardio. No. I can't oh, stand cardio. What do you do? Weights. Weights. Yeah. I hope you guys are all taking notes. Weights. Because I'm going to like. See, that's the thing. Because that's, that's the thing. We were doing a piece about that recently in Glamour. Yeah. And to people. So girls sometimes, or women, mm. like, do a lot of cardio thinking, thinking, you know, because it'll bulk up. But mm. actually, weights. It's not. Yeah. I think with cardio, a lot of it is just for vascular thing, Like yeah. your heart. And just you know breathing and stuff. Whereas I always find if I eat you know healthy and do weights, that's when I see my body change a lot of time. Mm. Three times a week weights, and also by yeah. the way, you do eat like a normal person. I just want to hasten to add that. As I well. hear people say that I don't. It's like I'd yeah. love you to actually say, like yesterday we had a salad. We, we were doing a meeting yesterday, and we had a massive big bowl of chips. Didn't release. Yes. <laughs> and that's what we were eating. So you have a nice salad, and then you have a few chips at the side. That's why I always say everything in moderation. You know, if you want, if you have an unhealthy breakfast, say lunchtime or dinner time, always have something healthy. That's what I do. Okay, now we, we're going to come into Christmas. Oh yes. Because I know the whole theme was Christmas. Sorry, I always get thinking when we're chatting, we, I know. we forget <laughs> that we're actually being filmed. <laughs> just like chatting. I know. So we're, we're, because obviously I want to talk um, about your collection that you've done for Christmas. Yes. But yep, I yep. also want to know. So. Are you a Chris? I'm a huge Christmas girl. Are huge, you a Christmas girl? Huge. It's my favorite time of year. Yeah, mine mm -hmm. too. <laughs> now, um, are you you are spending Christmas where this year? Uh, uh, I mean, don't tell me exactly where. We're not going to come yeah, and stalk no, you. Right. <laughs> You're very, very much welcome to around. Um, we're, I'm in Essex this year because last year we were in Manchester, so we started taking turns, make it easier for everyone. And are are you the one cooking or are you the no, one eating? I'm the one eating. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust myself with the uh, the Christmas dinner. There's too much pressure and there's too many people. Yeah. yeah, so I just stay in the background and if I lay the table, you know things like that. I'll like pour the champagne. Oh, I turn into the assistant as well. Yeah, the assistant. Yeah. Yeah, I have my mom gravy. and like everyone in the family. They did just I just stay out of it. Yeah, and I'm just like, what what do you want me to do? Do okay, help. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I don't really do anything like that. But I I do love Christmas and it's always one of those time of years that. I, yeah, the Christmas build up and ooh, I love it, it is the build up, isn't it? Build up. That's the so, best bit. Yeah, it is the best bit. I mean, literally, starting the first of December in the office, and my team know everything's Christmas decoration around yes. the desk. Yeah, I start yeah, playing yeah. Christmas songs. I can see a few eyes rolling around me, <laughs> but I'm like, I don't care. I'm do I love it so much. But one thing we know already, you yeah. know already, is what you're gonna be 
your makeup's gonna be. Yes. You know that. Yeah, so I yeah. just want to say you were doing you Thank did a you. beautiful collection yeah. for Christmas. This is from you can get this from Superdrug and this is three, uh, three for two. So this is obviously a beautiful palette and with this it's very natural and that's what I tend to wear. I don't really wear a lot of colour and eye eyeshadows. Do you know, I was quite surprised when I saw it because I thought, um, I wanna open this because I actually want to show mm. people because I thought, okay, Christmas it's gonna be cray cray colours, yeah. it's gonna be the to be honest with you, when I do my Christmas makeup, I just want to, because I know there's going to be lots of photos exactly. that are going to last forever. Yeah. Because it's See, special. I want to look, like you, I wanna look nice. I yes. want to look the best. I mean, not that you don't look nice, but with, with lots of color, but I just feel I want to look like the best version of myself. Now, Especially when you've got it on all day as well. You don't wear glitter at 12 in the afternoon. Exactly. Well, well, I could actually. Some people yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but not, <laughs> not us. Thing. Um, but I love it because literally you get 10 colors and mm -hmm. they're all, I don't know if we can see, but they're all neutrals but yeah, I think neutral. they but then some have a little bit of shimmer into it so mm -hmm. would you do a little kind of smoky with this probably smoky and um, I would normally do like a black uh, feline sort of shape eye and with Which that the hardest contour, thing to do yeah yeah I, I can't do the liquid liner thing it's hard. I don't know <laughs> I don't know Lisa's gonna have to give us a master class <laughs> but I really love this it's called not just nudes and genuinely these colors are absolutely beautiful and mm. I think they, they suit lots of different skin yeah, tones. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. So well done. Thank, Thank you for you. doing something, honestly, that I think also you can wear beyond. Yeah, I think exactly. sometimes you can build on it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like sometimes it's like, oh, it's a Christmas collection and then you're like, well, I might wear that for like Christmas and the New Year's, but then I've spent Can't a lot of money on something. And this is definitely one of those kind of, All year round you know, keepsakes. Yeah, I, definitely. I think so. Definitely. And then you've got a little lovely Yes, this is uh, from Boots, and this is when you buy where you spend fifteen pounds on more, you get these four products in this box, which is very Christmassy because it's got me and it's got stars on it. It's very nice. Oh, and you've got dark nails on here. Okay, yes, so let's I go have. through it. So the lipstick. The lipstick. I'll show you, it's like a berry colour. Obviously, again for winter. Oh, but it's gorgeous. The raspberry colour. It's, it's really, really beautiful pretty. and wearable. Again, and it goes with a lot of people, like any age as well. Yeah, you know, it yeah. could be whatever. I totally agree. I think that's stunning. And then you've got like nails that aren't matchy matchy, yeah. which in this case is beautiful, like a deep color. Fixin. Fixin. Yeah. There you go. Christmas name. Timeless. Oh. Timeless color. And then this is my favorite. This yeah, highlighter. That's thing. amazing. That's amazing. I have to say, they did so well, Revlon, when they came out mm. with this because that's what's your take on highlighters? Sometimes I just like some people need to tone it. Down. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't match the skin tone. It could be like a real white highlight that it just doesn't blend. Mm. And with this one, it's got a bit of gold flex in it as well. So it's all you need is a tiny, tiny bit. And it's quite matte. And look, that's all you yeah. need. Yeah, it doesn't look too much. It doesn't look too much. I, it's, it's such a great, it, this is such a great product. And, um, you know, in Glamour, we featured this quite a lot in Glamour mm. magazine because we actually, all the editors at Glamour love mm. this product. I think it's... And it's so, sometimes good. I also find cream um, highlighters that are quite greasy, mm -hmm. whereas that has got a matte finish. It's got like a powder finish to it as well, which is really quite... What's your skin like? Do you have more normal dry um, or oily skin? I'm quite oily skin. I, You're going to yeah. age so well. I'm so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> no, because if you have a little bit of oil... It does the same. Yeah. Ask Alex. I'd like to say. I do yes. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, but if you have oilier skin, yeah. you do age better because you've got more sebum oh, in your skin. Oh, really? No, that's... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because it's not really very oily, it's just a tiny mm. bit. T-bone, I think. Is that T-zone? T-zone, not T-bone. T-bone steak? Are you hungry already? She's thinking lunch already. I am hungry. <laughs> T-zone. T-zone. This bit here. Yeah. Yeah. But then, but weird. this will not exacerbate it. And then, which mascara did you choose? Because there's a lot of mascaras. You chose dramatic. Do you, yeah, finishes. dramatic. I like all the mascaras, but I just, you know, again, you want a dramatic look. These are yeah. more going out colors, and I thought that would be perfect yeah. for this box. I honestly it's think this is, time. yeah, this is really, really beautiful collection. Thank you. And you get a little nice, and it's a nice gift as well. Yeah. And then I wanted to go through your general favorite. Oh, yeah. These are my favorites. My three favorites. Okay, so I'll start with the matte, yeah? Yeah. The, um, matte You're the boss. So this is what I'm wearing now, and this is what I wear actually on a day-to-day -day basis, even at night as well, because it stays on your lips, and even when you're not having your drinks or eating, yeah. it, it stays on, so it's amazing. It's got a really good matte finish as well. Is this yours, or can this be mine? No, that could be yours. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I just want to get the shade right. So it's called Seduction. Yeah. 
It's called Seduction. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. kind of nudie, pinky color. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And then that mascara, Ultimate All in Oh, Ultimate All in One. Mm -hmm. So it that's does like everything. That's mascara. That's like my fave of all Ooh, mascaras. Look at that. That's why I like it though, because it's not the dots and crannies. That's why. Oh, it's got like this really tiny brush. Oh my god, brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then you brought a fragrance. Oh my god, this Tell is me like about the ultra. fragrance. Really? Yeah, honestly, I'm not just saying. It. I'm not just saying it. I'm not just saying it. So this is my favourite thing. I was wearing. I took this in my handbag when I was doing Argo in South Africa, and no word of a lie. Every time I wore it, at least one of the lads would mention it. And by the time I finished wearing it, all of them, all of them mentioned how good it smelled. So how good you it, smell? Yeah, I was like, oh. So by the end of it, I ran out and I was devastated. And it comes in a really cute heart shaped bottle. Oh my god, that is what you smell like! I've got it on now. Yes, no, I sorry, I sound like a, like an idiot, but when you walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, she smells so good. That's it. That's that it. That is what you smell like. That's it, and it's good to keep in your handbag because it's quite small and dainty. And oh you just my put god, it in your handbag. and it's called Love Is On. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's really Because nice, it's not it? sweet, it's kind no. of a bit musky, even. That's like, it. It's not at all like like a oh because you know sometimes when you see a packaging and you think oh it's gonna be really sweet yeah because it's it looks quite good it's not quite it's yuck. gorgeous it's really really nice oh wow okay seriously I think I wish we had like a smello and uh, smell smellogram but anyway look, I think people are gonna get really annoyed that I've kept talking to you and that I haven't grabbed um, <laughs> any of the questions so let me see any questions that we got in which they're not coming through so let's fix it and then in the meantime I want to talk to you mm. about your hair. Because yes. the first time ever mm -hmm. that I interviewed you, mm -hmm. I met you and you had long hair at the yes. time. And I was saying, I asked you, and I remember this, I don't know if you do, but I said to you, um, would there ever be a role, a TV role, okay. a movie role, mm -hmm. that you would, because you've got, you have such an iconic long hair look, I yeah. said, would there ever be a role that you, you know, cut, change your hair for? And you said, you know what, it would really have to be worth it. And you did, yes, because did. obviously coming up soon is um, yes. the Bobby, Tina and Bobby. Yeah. Now, you changed your hair for that. You actually dyed your hair. I actually, yeah. Totally I mean, you went from hair. this dark to and long. super bleak. Oh, it was really long as well, yeah. And what it was, I, I wrapped on Argo on the Friday, and I started rehearsing Tina and Bobby on the Monday. So it was a big shift. It, the job was totally different, and I felt like I had to sort of, draw a line and draw a girl and put my head in the game and something else and I just thought you know what wouldn't it be easier because we're changing wigs takes such a long time and the director asked me to dye my hair as well and I just thought you know what I'm just going to go for it and I, I would never would have gone blonde in my life no ever no I know because we spoke we yeah did, I remember clearly speaking about yeah, it yeah and, but I thought you know what Lisa can look back in 10 years time and think remember that time I was bleached blonde do you know what I mean I thought yeah. you know well, why not why not what so, but tell me though Seriously, about honestly, mm -hmm. was it to deal with? Like, I mean, I know you're yeah. an actor; it's what you do; it's your job. Yeah. But then yeah. you're also someone who goes home and has a life. Yeah. You know, I know that notoriously, going from as dark as you are mm -hmm. to that bleach, a messes up your hair, yeah. and it's really. Yes. So, how was it actually? Um, it was all right at the beginning, and then obviously because your roots started coming through, it was very high maintenance. Because I'm one of those people that finish working, shove my hair up my head. Yeah. Um, I don't really blow dry. I let my hair dry naturally, but because it was bleach, it was damaged, so it wouldn't just fall naturally anymore. And nice, and every time I put it up, you can see my roots, but not in a cool way. Mm. Like you got cool, you know that ombre look. It looks really cool. Where mine is like black. Well, no, but it was super bleak. I mean, it you was were like blonde, 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 like blonde. Black roots coming through, and it just didn't look right, well, no matter what I did. Um, so yeah, it was very high maintenance. And for the conditioner, of it, did yeah. you use anything specific? Yeah, that Olaplex. Did you do that. the Olaplex? I did that. Yeah, that's an amazing. And did they do it when they coloured it? They, they did put that. It in, yes, they and did. that protected. And that helped it a little bit. Yeah, I did bleach it four times in two days. So by the yeah, it was cool. Yeah. That is Quite that like is bleach. serious hardcore. Yeah, because I honestly think it, for other movies people would just put wigs on, but you actually. Well, to be fair, it. even like when we were filming, I did wear a lot of wigs. I did wear a lot of wigs on top of it because it was. But wasn't that the fashion? Yes, As in the sixties, seventies, people exactly. did wear pieces. Yeah, I remember my yeah. mom would. I still have some from my mother, and I was like, "You wore that on a daily basis." Yeah. So yeah. you had the bleach plus. But yeah, so I had like a lot of, especially in the 60s, the 60s scenes that we did, I sort of had my hair really high and then a piece on top, like a big beehive. 
It was really heavy. It's heavy on you. It was really, and I felt like a pea head anyway, so I could feel it at the time I walked. But yeah, that's what they so use my hair for the underneath, and then they put the beehive on top. But your hair recovered. I mean, it looked, you did. Yeah. You did cut it. Yeah, I did cut it. I, I had to cut it because, um, it, yeah, it was a bit damaged at the ends. But I thought I wanted to have a bit of a lob anyway. I've never had short hair. Mm -hmm. I've had really long hair. So I thought I'm gonna cut it, change it up a little bit, and yeah, I, I love it. But at the moment, you have to dye it, don't you? To, yes. to be your own. It's almost like yeah. you have to dye your hair to be your to own be your color because it's totally stripped. Yeah. When you bleach your hair, it just totally strips your yeah. color out, and especially now to put vegetable colors on. Um, and then when I was on holiday, obviously because the sun made it lighter yeah. colourly, and it kept on coming through like a bit of a ginger tinge because obviously the bleach. So I had to keep on top of that. But I don't mind it. You know, it's dead easy to do. And, that friend who does it anyway. But so. Olaplex is a really good tip. A really good tip. And can we just talk about that holiday picture, uh, the recent one, oh. <laughs> on Michelle in the bikini? I was like, put them the dessert. It was, it was just amazing. But anyway, sorry, I blab, 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 blab. Um, oh my god, there are so many questions. This is literally wishing you, wishing you both a happy holiday season. Oh, oh that you. is so nice. She's literally living my dream. <laughs> Yes, I am living everybody's dream. I do think so. Um, okay, some, there's some Don't Trump comments. This. Let's forget about that. Chloe, I love your new Lipsy range so much. Thank you, Chloe. Oh, thank you. I've got my dress for Christmas works due already. Yes. And for a girl with a tiny waist and big bust, I couldn't have found a better fit. It usually oh. takes a lifetime. You're a lifesaver. Chloe, she is. Chloe, I oh. you like it. Um, this is a question from Carolina. Did you enjoy starring in our, in our Girl? Yeah. And would you ever be up for starring with Lacey Turner one day? That would be epic, the two mm, of you together. Yeah. People do talk about that a lot. Yeah, I, I don't get me wrong. I would love to. I'm a massive fan of Lacey. I think she's an incredible actress. Um, and that's the reason why I love the show so much, really, is down to Lacey. And yeah, you know, there was reference to her character throughout of our Girl. So who knows, you know, fingers crossed that some, hopefully in the future we, we will work together in our Girl. I'm sorry, missed what the perfume was and by who. Sorry, we'll do it again. It's yeah. live. I love it. It's um, Revlon Love is on. And I can attest, it smells absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. She smells delicious. Yes, she does. <laughs> um, this is from Aspa. What is the one beauty care product that you have been using the longest? The and longest. Still use? You guys have better questions than me. That's Thank a you really so good much. Question. Um, I would say Hula Bronzer. Oh, I'm wearing that today. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like twins. We're just like In twins. my dreams. It's like one mic. I'm like the... <laughs> my dreams. But it's, good, it, isn't it's it? amazing. Because obviously I worked on the benefit counter before I started in Corrie. That was 10 years ago. And even now my makeup bag, I still have Hula in my makeup bag. So yeah. That was That's my a really good one. Because it's not shy, shimmery. So I quite Very like matte. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you were stuck on an island and were only allowed one makeup product, what would it be? Is that the... Mm. Would that be that, or would it? Well, I think it's it, exactly. But would it be makeup or would it be skincare? What would skincare? You, I think so. Could I take two? Could I take yeah. skincare? You can take whatever you want. Michelle, I would like you? my skincare with SPF because obviously that's good for your skin, and I'll take my matte uh, Revlon, Revlon lip that I've got on because it's just my favourite. So I look a little bit glam because I love a I love a tan. I'm protected, and I've got a little bit of nice lips going on. So yeah. I think that, yeah, I want, I mean, I've kept that lip, no, you lip can, product, honestly, I've yeah. kept it. Um, this from L. what fake tan brand is your favourite? I've got, yeah, I've got mm. a few. Is there one that you like? Um, I like Garnier, just because I've always used that, and it comes in different shades, dark, medium, and light, and um, it's a mist, so I just, you, know, you don't have to rub it in, so it's easy. And you know what, you've, you've said this before, so mm. this is what I like about you. Are act you are so genuine? Like you've actually always said that. Yeah, like, always. You, you, you're not. Like, she's not just. I mean, if I can just be like the voice of. She did. She's <laughs> always said that. It's true. Um, Tanya, what hair products do you, do you use? Recommend? Well, you mentioned Olaplex. Olaplex. Is there anything um, else that you love? Yeah, Kerastase is really good. Uh, shampoo and conditioners, yeah. and I've got like a leave-in spray that I use now, which helps with my um, hair. Um, and what's that one that the mask? Ocean. Ocean, yeah, Ocean, yeah, Ocean. Yes. Yes. That's a mask that I was wearing on holiday all the time, and that really sort of like uh, replenished my hair and kept it, you know, healthy. Uh, what's your favorite perfume? We people loving perfume. It's Revlon. Love mm -hmm. is on. Um, this is from Amanda. What is the vegetable hair dye you said you use? Your hair is a gorgeous brunette color. I think oh, it's, it's a you. professional one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So. Fresh. Well, well, well. Colour Fresh by Wella. Well, that's not easy. 
Sally's. Wella is really good on, on darker hair as well. Mm. So that's true, that's amazing. Um, Gita, what are you using on your cheeks along with the hula bronzer? Do you use blush? Um, I use blush, but I also use the Revlon highlighter. Yes. If you've got, it's like, yeah. Which we've got here. One. Yeah, I use this on the top of my cheekbones. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's really pretty. It's got the bronze tones and it's also got the blush tones. And that's really nice when, you know, if you go down your nose and highlight your brow bone. I it's love really that pretty. one. Bronze glow, because it's got some pink in it as well. Exactly. You wear that over, over yeah. the top, yeah. It's really nice. I really and like it lasts it. for ages as well. Um, this is from Emily. Do you prefer a dark lip or a nude lip? I'll be honest, I like nude. Yeah. I do like nude, yeah. I think, don't get me wrong, I, yeah, my fave. Um, I do, I have worn dark in the past, but I always go for a, a quite a, a basic eye with that. If I was wearing a darker lip, it would be like literally just mascara and eyeliner, yeah. and that's it. On a night out as well, normally. But maybe I should try a little bit more of a darker lip now and again. Do you wear dark lip? Well, no, but you know why I don't? It's because I talk so much. Mm, and I'm constantly, like, 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 touching my lips. I'm constantly, like, I'm drinking something and I'm talking. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just, it's the main, I love the, the maintenance. look of it. It's the maintenance. But it's the maintenance. But yeah. do you think there's, like, a colour that, you know, wouldn't suit you? Like, is that, in your mind, is there something you can, um, like, never wear, like, a purple lipstick or something um, like that? Yeah, maybe a purple or a really, like, dark red. I like orangey tones, so like orangey reds, um, and they're like berries, but I think a really like dark, deep red, I don't think I could get away with that. <laughs> I disagree. No, but with your colouring and skin tone and, you know, kind of perfection going on, I think you get away with anything. Um, this is a really good question from Jane. What is the funniest makeup blunder you've had? Oh, Please God. share. Been too many. <laughs> Been too many. Um, I did a red carpet, I did a red carpet, and you'll probably be able to see it on the internet, I don't care, you can Google it, it's the NCAs. <laughs> well, it's out there. It's NCAs, and I was wearing a big purple dress, I think it was like 2010 when I first started on Corey around that time, and instead of eyelashes, I wore feathers. <sighs> was that your idea? <gasps> no, no, but I was like, yeah, that sounds really good, and I had feathers on my eyelashes at award ceremony, and I always look back at the pictures and think, why the hell did I do that? So yeah, that was big fashion for makeup wise. I love that. Um, this is from Paige. What products do you use on your eyebrows? We didn't talk about that. No. They always look so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I do love uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I do love uh, her products for eyebrows. Again, Benefit has got this um, uh, liquid sort of brush. It's like a mini, I think it's Benny Tint. And you, that's what you, you sort of set your eyebrows with as well. It's really good. Um, oh, God, another eyebrow question how long oh serena i like this question how long did it take you to train for our girl and did oh, you yeah. find it hard we did talk about exercising before and that's yeah. right for, for our girl you you were mm. like rush yeah. let's get on with it so well, yeah i went i went to boot camp i had to go to boot camp and literally i was the only girl um so like in the yeah like in, 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 look, what what you saw really that's with those lads and we went to sandhurst which is like the army barracks and I trained, you know, how to put my uniform on, how to hold a gun, how to patrol, um, to march, everything like that. Even hand signals, you learn how to do hand signals. And it was really strict, it was really, really strict. And if one of us were like two minutes late, or if we answered back, or if we answered a question wrongly, we'd all have to get down and give 20 press-ups. So by the end of the whole I can't shoot, even do one. No, it was so hard. I had, I had to do the girly ones, you know, you go on your knees. I was yeah. doing them. But by the end of the shoot, I could do a proper press up. It was weird because you train yourself. But I also did a week boot camp in South Africa as well, just to climatise and to get used to the heat. And yeah, so I went to a shooting range there as well. So it was a lot of training involved for the, for the role. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, okay, so actually, a few questions about oily skin. Yeah. Best skincare and makeup for oily skin, please. Well, I mean, I think if I if I may interject here at this stage, I think the main thing is obviously you don't want to use anything with oil in it, yeah. like an oily moisturizer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And I think for hydration, because even like in winter, don't you find that like you know when you have oily skin, you think oh, but you you can still feel so dehydrated, yeah, can't you? So a hyaluronic acid serum would be what I would recommend because it gives you hydration without giving you the oil. oil. But do you use a lot a lot of skincare, or do you very kind of Streamline. Mm. Yes, yeah, streamline. I always obviously wear a uh, moisturiser under my makeup and I use it before I go to bed and that's it really. That's it. Yeah. Maybe my moisturisers might be a bit oily. Do you find when you're when you're filming, I mean mm. you are literally I mean it's it's 
full on. I mean, it's, it's, mm. I always, I'm always thinking, I mean, I think people do know this, but, you know, what we see is a scene that takes, you know, 30 seconds, yeah. could take you a whole day. A whole day, yeah, it, hours to do it. and hours, yeah. And then, like, what, and then you obviously, in makeup, and you get retouched, and the thing, yeah. does that mess your skin up massively? Yeah, massively, massively. I always have really bad breakups when I'm, I'm filming, just because normally I don't wear a lot of makeup on a day, and if I have got a day off, I don't really wear it at all. So my skin's not used to it, so the, the amount of, you know, makeup's getting applied constantly, yeah, it does affect my skin. I just, when I'm filming, I have to try and drink a lot of water, keep hydrated, and that does help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could only wear three items of makeup for the rest of your life, what Oof. would it be? Okay, this, yeah. as this is always my, my favourite, um, which is the matte lip colour. Uh, the probably all in one mascara because every girl needs mascara. Yeah. And um, is that right? yeah, that one, and probably Hula bronzer. Yeah. Mm. I think those are three really good. That's yeah. kind of what you've got on today with a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Going on. That's right. T tiny bit more. That's right. Um, Emma, when will our girl return to our screens? Well, you're mm -hmm. filming. Start filming. I think. I think it's crossed in May. Um, so hopefully at the end of the year we we'll, we yeah, it will start again hopefully. Can't wait for that. <laughs> um, who's your beauty icon? Jennifer Lopez. I said that to you last time. I know, but I, I mean that. not I know, but oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. She's my beauty yeah, icon too, sorry, which I is love, really oh. interesting. But and I but I'm gonna say it again, and it always embarrasses her when I say it. But I have interviewed Jennifer Lopez, and mm. when I first so a few times, and when I first saw her, I was literally like, she's. She is phenomenal. Yeah, she is. And you actually are very similar. In the sense that, I'm not saying you look like her, but Colouring that, that thing of in the flesh, no, that thing of, no, <laughs> that thing of in the flesh being as as people think you are. Aww. Because you know a lot of people <clears throat> aren't in the flesh. Mm. I mean, and that's just the reality, but you are actually even more beautiful if that's possible. Like you look, Aww, I, I, I think you're the same, but then the personality helps well, because she's just really nice <laughs> and down to earth. And she really is, and I'm not uh, paid, and I'm not um, head of your fan club, but I, but I could be. <laughs> um, uh, can I just okay? What this one? There was a good one here uh, that I really. What's the best part of your job? Ooh, that such a good question, good. Jane. Um, uh, playing different people, like having something to do that's different every single day. Like my day is never ever the same, which keeps it interesting. So, yeah, and do something I love as well. I'm very lucky to be in the position that I'm in. So. When the call came in for our girl, mm, mm. was there any hesitation, or no. were you just like, "This is"? Did you mm. have to do? Did you have to audition mm. for it? Oh, you yeah. did. Yeah, and then I had a meeting with the BBC, and we, I knew like months and months before anyone else did. So it's one of them I had to keep quiet. But I was just, I was over the moon. I was so excited for it. Yeah, because <clears throat> it's definitely like something different. Like you know, yeah. I think, the thing is, it's it's always as an actor, I suppose you want to do try you know try different roles, and our girl's so different. And yes. obviously now, I mean, you you've got very exciting things coming up mm. because obviously you know Tina and Bobby is mm. again something that's you know so completely completely different. I mean, yeah. what's next? Like a comedy? Maybe I don't. I think that's but that's the reason why I left Coronation Street. Like it wasn't an easy decision, and it took me absolute years to find my, my mind up. Um, but yeah, as soon as I left. I was like, right, let's go and you know challenge myself. And luckily, I've been in decisions where I do auditions and I get the roles. And it's just finding which job you want to do and go. That's different to what I've ever done. Let's go for it. And this, like that was what happened to Tina Bobby as well. It's you know it's totally different to our girl. It's a period. Um, yeah. And it's, do you get nervous when you audition? Oh, I will never get used to auditions. I hate them. I hate them. I prefer the gym more than auditions. <laughs> oh, and that's saying something. That's saying something. Yeah, I just I'm not very confident at all. But how do you do it? That you just chat. You just when you when you're acting, do you are you that are you not Michelle anymore? Are you no. literally the other person? Mm. Like I I find it easier to watch myself acting than I do on screen as myself doing interviews. Oh really? Yeah, and I like I did Jonathan Ross last yeah, week. Yeah, I know. And I haven't watched that interview, and I will not watch that interview because I was good. there. I was there. Yeah. Well, so I don't need to rewatch what I was doing with my fucking my hair or, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. so self-critical that I just won't watch. Oh, so <laughs> um, uh, oh, this is a this is a this is a good question. Would you? I mean, I think the answer will be: Would you ever take part in Strictly? Okay. Seeing as Mark did, mm -hmm. I bet you'd be great on there. Um, you'd be surprised. I, I can't dance. I can't dance. You can't dance. No, no. And I, again, perfect. You again, 
But it's me though, isn't it? It's me. I'm going out as me again. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. Judging me, and I'll be, I'll be terrified. Um, again, it's some. I can't say no to it because you know what's going to happen in the future. So I never rule it out. But um, right now, uh, no, I can't concentrate on acting. Yes, and what sort of role would you love to try? That's a question. For oh, that's Elle. a good question. Now, um, I'd love to do like a dark role. Like yes. A, yeah, like a not a villain, but like a dangerous role. So not like like in the fall, like a serial killer. Maybe yeah. What did we do? Was Jamie like Dornan that. played like a serial? Yeah. Killer. Like, would you really want to do something really, really dark and something unexpected? Because the roles that I've had were brilliant, but I've always been a quite a likable character. So it's something I'd love to like make people hate me. Oh no. But you're such scary. a lovely <laughs> but, no, but as an actor obviously you yes. do want to stretch and do and do different exactly. things but still I think our girl was I keep going back to it because I loved it so much but it was a real mm. like I mean those moments when you were like in, you know imprisoned yeah. I mean it was yeah. literally mm. the emotion and the heart rent I mean it was mm. just the acting skills were seriously amazing oh, so you. yeah if you wanted them it would be interesting to see you as a, like yeah. an evil kind Some, of thing yeah something dark or I'd, but I'd love to do period again I love doing period dramas, so something maybe older, um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Because you did, because for Tina and Bobby, you did 60s, 70s and 80s, 80s as well, yeah, so was it fun different. going bit, bit back to beauty guys, I will, will get Michelle <laughs> to answer, but like was it fun to do all those different, do, I, different I makeups and loved, hair? I loved it, and I loved dress up, and everyone always says to me what was your favourite era, and I can't put my finger on it. Because I love the 60s because it's so glamorous. Mm. And I think that's when ladies came into their own, didn't they? With yeah. the tailored suits and the big hair. Mm. I love that. And with the 70s, 70s is massive now. Yes. So any shirt that's that I had on, I was like, oh, I like this shirt. Or like, I like these bell bottoms. So I loved all that fashion. And then 80s, I loved the big shoulder pads and the big hair and the big earrings. Because I remember my mum when I was born with all that outfit on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it sort of brought me back. So. And you got to do it all. I did it all. And did you did you film in in sequence or did you have like today I'm seventies, tomorrow I'm eighties? Yeah, 80s. don't get me wrong. It sometimes there was a crossover. Yeah. Like one minute I'd be in sixties and I have to yeah. go to eighties. Yeah. Uh, which is really difficult. Just to change the wigs and the, the, the whole makeup has to change. Um, but we tried to get it, you know, in chronological order as much as we could. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, but I just always yeah. want... Because, I mean, it's so interesting to see the, the how it works in a movie. Because, yeah. you know, it must be like, well, today you are... Because also, you play different different ages as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, yeah. we haven't seen it yet, mm. but I can't wait to see it because you play the same character who's a real character yes. as well. Yeah. A person, sorry, not a yeah. character. And you literally go... You know, you're aging with her mm. as well. Like, yeah. It would be really interesting. Did they have to age you on some of it? Um, No. No, luckily. Um, I just changed a lot of the makeup. Yeah, that made you look yeah to make me look older and younger. Like yeah. the first scene that I did, uh, where I met Bobby, um, was I was I think she was played a sixteen year old, and I literally put nothing on my face, nothing. I don't even think I have powder on because I wanted to make my face yeah. look like young and dew, dewy and youthful. So I literally had no mascara on, nothing. It's amazing how important hair and makeup actually yeah. is when it comes to, mm. to, to, to acting and to roles because it does help you to yeah. be not Michelle, exactly, be someone yeah. else. And so anyway, I'm just, I'm just saying, anyway, there's more questions I know, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, this is from Kate, who's your favorite actor or actress right now? Ooh. Who would you like to work with in future roles? Um, I love Melissa McCarthy, you know, uh, the, com the comedy American lady who's hilarious. Yes, yes. I love her and I'd love to work with her. And I love Ricky Gervais just because yes. I'm a massive fan of his work. And he's got that very British, dry sense of humour. And I, I love all the things that he's done, so they're my faves. And then another one, would you ever do, these are all like professional, I love it. Would you ever do musicals and can you sing? Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd I'd love to say that I can sing, but I really, 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 really can. Um, and I'm a massive fan of musicals, but I just don't think I'd get cast in any because I can't sing. So, unfortunately, anyway. You can learn. Well, no, I, or is it that you're not born with it though? Are you not well, I don't. I, I have no voice what, whatsoever. No, I'm but so I mean, I'm deaf. not. You know, I'm not skilled. Mm. No. Okay. No. No, no, no she's not. Oh my God, you slayed our girl. Oh, thank you. Yes, she did. You were fab on Jonathan Ross. I know she didn't. She didn't watch it. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't watch herself. And, but yes, she was fab. Um, what was your first job? I think you mentioned it. Was it the the makeup um, counter? Uh, no. It, uh, what was my first job? Um, it was in the same shop actually. It was in traffic center again, and it was uh, it was a clothing shop named L. I don't know if anyone remembers it. And that was yeah, I was sixteen at the time. I 
I just left high school, so I went straight into work before college, so I did finish up. There you go. What is the, this from Chloe, what is the best foundation you've used? I'm getting married in May mm -hmm. and need to get a good foundation that gives a flawless finish. Do you remember what you wore okay. on your wedding? Yes. Um, hi, Chloe. Congratulations. <laughs> um, I wore Giorgio Armani foundation. It was illuminating and it was really light on your skin. Um, so your skin could breathe throughout the day and it didn't need a lot of topping up as well. So that's a really, really good foundation. I think that's such a good tip because also for weddings, you know, yeah. you need to look good. Face yeah, you want to look radiant, yeah. don't yeah. you? And then you need to look good in pictures. Exactly. Everyone wants a photo with you. Exactly. And so that's such a good tip for yeah. it. That's a really good foundation. What, this is from Serena. What country would you love to visit that you haven't visited yet? Oh, hi Serena. Um, I really, really want to go uh, Graceland, Memphis, because I'm a massive Elvis fan, like huge, and I've always said that's the one place that I really, really want to go. I want to go and visit his house, and and just maybe do like what's the other thing that you can do in America, like Route sixty six, yeah. and just drive in a and not in a Mustang. That's something that I'd love to do. Yeah, yeah. What was the best part of your wedding day? You were gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Um, the best part for me uh, was really hard. I mean, it was just. It's so hard because it goes so quickly as well. Probably the church. Probably the church. Um, when I walked into the church, I saw all my friends and family there and all marks. And it was all done up beautifully. That I, you know, you don't see it until you, you step inside. And I remember it was really like breathtaking. So I remember seeing Mark at the end of the aisle as well. So that was. It was one of those moments that you get goosebumps with. So. I'm sorry. I'm getting like. Oh. <laughs> um, this is from Vicky. How do you stay in such good shape? all the time. Well, we mentioned that earlier, yeah. but if you just tuned in now, yeah. it's I always say everything in moderation. I always say, I don't believe in diets, I don't believe in juicing. Um, I think if you've had a bad day of eating rubbish, the next couple of days just be really healthy. And I just think, never sort of stop yourself from having things that you want. And say if I buy chocolate, which I've got some in my car, I always have chocolate in my car. Um, which one? Uh, I've got the, you know, the Kinder Bueno little legs. Yes, I love them. I love nibbling them. But I've got them right now, so I'll have one. I don't eat the whole packet. I'll just have one, and that'll do me. I, do you know what I mean? That's how. That's no, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no, I do not know what you mean. It's hard. No, it is hard. my problem. Th but this is the thing, though. It's, it's all very about. Hard. There is no magic secret. I no, mean, I, you know, Michelle, I always look for the magic secret. You know, I'm always like, oh, what's the latest and what's the whatever. Yeah, no. The truth is, that's exactly the that's the that's secret. It. You don't eat the entire packet. No. You eat one, whereas I eat the entire packet. Oh, really? Yeah. Well. Now and again. No, but you know, it, it's right. Yeah. It's that thing of, I just want some of it. And that's that's the truth. And I yeah. know, like, I definitely always look for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the thing? And it's mm -hmm. not. It's just, you're just consistent. Go to the gym three times a week, that's not it. seven days a week. No. You, you can't, you just, live, like, you can't you, live like that. No. And you, I always think you can't live forever on a diet. You can't. It's impossible. So no. if you do that throughout the day, picky, 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 and just don't eat a full bar of oh, sorry. Full, I'll leave that. No, don't worry. Um, stay here, stay here, here Michelle. Okay. Don't run. <laughs> A full bar of chocolate, and you just like have one or two pieces. That's fine. So you're having the nice taste of it, but you're not eating the whole thing. So I'm, that's why I do everything. So a few lovely comments, Tanya. Your wedding dress was gorgeous, and you looked stunning. Thank you. Um, answer this: I could <clears throat> never travel without my comfort blanket. Ooh. That I haven't got with me actually because my bag's too my bag's too small. But I normally have a comfort blanket with me at all times. Oh, but Especially it, when I travel on a plane, I've got. A well, it's blanket. useful to have anyway. Mm. Um, Oh, hey, favourite thing about visiting Dubai. You like Dubai, don't I, you? You know what, what it is? What do you like about it? Guaranteed weather. Well, that's right. You guarantee, and this year, we because we weren't, because obviously I've been working away, and so is Mark, so we went to go away, me and him, for two weeks, and we're, you know, nice weather. And we were looking at the Caribbean, Mexico, all these lovely places. But obviously, you look at the weather, and it's like, this day raining, you know, you, you weren't guaranteed the weather, whereas in Dubai, six hours on a plane, and you've got gorgeous weather every single day. So that's why, really. And the food's nice there as well. It, I'm, I'm too hot. I can't do it. I'm too hot. It does get very I, hot. I'm hot. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's who cares about me. The question wasn't for me. <laughs> um, who's your inspiration in life? <gasps> Ooh. Probably my mum. My mum and my grandma. Uh, they're definitely my inspirations. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, mine mm -hmm. too. I think they mm -hmm. are in our lives. Yeah, definitely. Um, from Helena, what is your go-to night out outfit? The typical LBD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, typical LVD. I've ha I've got so many black dresses, and they're one of them that just never go out of fashion. Mm. And you always tend to go back. I always feel comfortable in black. I feel dressy in black. And if I get a nice, you know, dress that suits my body shape, I feel I feel comfortable. Confident. Do you choose your own when you go? Do you do you select your own outfits, or do you have a stylist? Because uh, no, you style, always yeah. look yeah. right for your body. If, I mean, I would argue. Yeah. I mean, you know, you'd probably say no. I can't wear everything, but yeah. I would argue you can. <laughs> but do you? So do you choose it yourself? Yeah, I just I always think everyone always says like, what's a tip, whatever. But I always say as long as you feel comfortable, that shows. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you wear, if you if you feel confident, it just shows in whatever you wear. And I think that's when people go, oh, you look really nice because you feel confident. Definitely. Few more. We've got time for a few more, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. So, um, is there anything you're afraid of? I'm Ooh. going to Thailand in March and never done a long haul flight. How do you cope with flying? I just, I just, you know, get a word search from WH Miff. Get your word search. Get a pack of cards, and get lots of sweets and nibbly bits, and just, yeah, just watch films. I think it's a nice time sometimes to get on a plane and just zone out. You haven't got your mobile phone. You're not thinking about work. It's. I think it, I just use it as a time to zone out. And, and no one, what you no do. one can reach you. Exactly. Um, this is from Paula, who's from Dubai. What meal would you make to impress for date night? Ooh. Uh, yeah, we already established you're not. You're not. You don't cook yeah. a lot. Oh no, I like. Cooking. You like cooking, just not. I like cooking. So not what, all the what time. would you do? I would do um, a rack of lamb. Just because I know it's Mark's favourite, so I think what you like. Um, a rack of lamb, new potatoes, and like a really nice red wine jus. Ooh, I've you've made got that skills. Before. I've made that before, that's why. It's rack really of nice. lamb? Okay. Yeah. Two more questions. I'm sorry if after this I'm going to have to, because there are so many. Celeb crush? Jennifer Lopez, without a doubt. She gets better with age. Where are you the most happiest? Ooh, that's, that's a hard. good one! That's hard. Anywhere where my uh, family are uh, and Mark, anywhere, whether it's in Essex, whether it's in Manchester, whether we're on holiday, anywhere where my closest people are with me. Yeah. You know, I've recently been, I had never been, you know, I'm not British and I, I mm. had never been to Manchester and I recently went to Manchester. Mm. Oh my God, I literally fell in love. You love it. I really loved it. People yeah. were super nice. We yeah. did like an event with, you know, a lot of glamour readers came and... It was so lovely. You come from mm. such a lovely city. I know it might sound mm. really stupid, but you know, guys, bear with me. You know, mm. I, I wasn't born here, so, and I abs I fell in love with that yeah. city. You have such, you come from such a lovely, lovely city, and I know why you are as lovely as you are because people no. are lovely in Manchester. No, but I apart from Manchester. that, I just want to say, can I just say thank you so much for coming into our offices, for thank being you. so open and like just. <laughs> A wonderful person and you know you know I love you and thank you so much I know thank you guys enjoyed I'm sorry I didn't get to all the questions but there were so many questions for Michelle <laughs> I'm really sorry but thank you thank you thank, thank you. you thank you <laughs> thank you for your questions and Bye. Merry Christmas at some point. yeah